Okay, so we've got the old 1940 Model A blowing apart a little bit more now. Definitely now that we've got to this stage, we can tell that somebody has definitely been in this engine, albeit probably an awful long time ago. Uh, this sump gasket here is definitely homemade. I don't think anyone's had the um, inspection, not the inspection cover, the ignition backplate off before, having looked at this bit here. Uh, that looks like a, probably an original Briggs & Stratton gasket to me. But yeah, inside the engine's all nice and clean. It's well smothered in oil, um, so it's obviously got an oil pump system, this engine, so it's slightly different to some of the other ones that I've had in the past before, where they have a pump but they still have a slinner, or um, they have a pump that fills up a small tray that a dipper then goes into and splashes the lubricant around. This one is solely done by this pump here. Um, so I'm guessing that little cam down there, there's probably an opening somewhere at the top of that pump and it just literally squirts oil in the direction of the piston, I would have thought. And then everything else then will splash down and lubricate from there. So I don't think there's any problems with the bottom end. We've got a little bit of play in this back bearing, but it's a roller bearing by the looks of it, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, our actual connecting rod. There's no play in that. Um, so obviously there's still a chance that it's that that's holding us up, uh, but I think our problem is probably with the piston. So we're going to go a little bit further tonight and see what we find. Well, unfortunately, we found the damage, and it's not anything at the top of the engine. Despite the lack of heat in all the crankshaft and everything when it was running, we do have some damage to the big end bearing. Only in one particular place. So obviously something's got in there somehow. Don't know how at the moment. Can't even see anything that was really in there. And has caused all of this damage. But it's only in one particular spot. I think we can probably chuck that up now to a nice oiling groove once we've cleaned up that uh, big end cap and the crankshaft journal there. We'll give that a polish. This will run again. It's not a problem. Well, there's our piece of debris that caused this uh, whole sorry affair. Turned her up pretty good. We'll have to keep on digging and see where that's come from and how it's even managed to get in there. It's a bit beyond me at the moment, but uh, perhaps like some people have suggested, somebody's been in this engine, put it all back together and then never run it. And unfortunately they didn't do a very good job of putting it all back together. But we'll see. I'm confident it will run again. Well there's our damage. Just there on the big end. You can see that bear in there. It's indented, so it's obviously been damaged by something, perhaps dropped. Uh, you can see it's been clamped in a vice or something at some stage, which has marled it up quite badly as well. But that's where the damage has come from. So that bear has obviously been trapped in between the bearing and the crankshaft. I'd imagine it was probably never run when it was put back together. And that first run, that bear has come off, gone into the bearing and caused all of that. But yeah, like I say, it's only in that one bit. I think we can dress that up, get rid of that bear with a file get some emery paper in that bearing and get it smoothed out. I think she'll go again. <laughs> 